First one for uh, for Lundy, obviously early gone. You guys had so many chances, but Swaymo has come up with a lot of big saves. What did it mean to finally break through just to get rewarded in that moment? And obviously from that point on, you guys kind of took over again. Yeah, I mean, the first goal was so obviously huge for our team, and we had some good chances early in the game, but but you know it's it's hard to, to score in playoffs, but we just stick with it and got some more chances, and and finally went in and and we got uh, a start head start to to our game and we're able to show the way, way so that was that was good bar line. Uh, Sasha, Sammy leaves the game and Kyle comes onto your line and how did that whole play develop and, and just how proud of the fact that just all postseason long you just continue to, to really deliver for this team? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, losing Rhino is not, not, the, not the best thing, but uh, Oki, he's just been unreal for us ever since he came. Uh, he's a he's a leader, like natural re leader, off ice on ice. So he's always ready, and you can see like he didn't play much in the in the regular season, but now he jumped in in the playoffs and he's playing playoff hockey, uh, leading the way, uh, playing hard. So it was it was nice nice to play with him. Uh, for both of you guys, just we talk so much about just how big Bob has been for you guys. Regular season playoffs hasn't really been tested much the last few games. I think it's twenty less than twenty shots the last three. Just knowing that he's having these long gaps in between time, but knowing he's still going to come up clutch. How big is that to have a goalie who's able to stay mentally focused when there's not as much action coming his way? Yeah, I think like staying mentally focused is uh, when you think about that, those words, you think about Sergei Bobrovsky right away. Like he's mentally focused, he's prepared, he's ready whenever. So he's huge for us. He's our best player and he de delivers every, every single night. He gives us a chance to win. Yeah, I mean, he said pretty much everything I was gonna say. So uh, I mean, we trust him, Bob. You know, he he's always ready. Uh, we don't have to worry about him. He he worries about himself. Sasha, just after the first period, it's two nothing. A uh, little hostile environment here. How, how do you guys kind of handle that and kind of push your way back into this game? And it seems like you don't don't seem to be bothered playing by this building. You won five straight games here. Playoffs. Yeah, I mean, of course they they got a good start. They scored a couple of goals and. This is a tough building to play in, but uh, we just stick with it. We like how we played in the first period, even though they, they had two goals, but uh, we like our chances. We just kept going, kept pushing and uh, getting better. And then obviously Landis, Landis line took over, got us, got us uh, going with the goal, and uh, we just believed in each other. Barky, I know I'm putting you on the spot here because he's right next to you, but you've watched Lundy grow a lot over the past couple of years. I mean, what has kind of gone into that development that he's gone to to the point where he's he's been an impact player over the past uh, few games in this series? Uh, I mean, I've said a lot of good things about Lundy previously, so uh, everything everything same. Like he's hard hard working kid. Uh, you you would not think he's he's that young when with his approach to, to professional hockey and being a being being a professional in this league like he's he's working really hard and wants to learn uh, every day something all the time something he's asking questions stupid questions good questions it doesn't matter he's asking questions he wants to learn so that's that's great so I can I don't think you guys have time enough time for me to just sit here and talk good things about him uh, Sa Sasha, um, and, and for both of you, what was the chatter on the bench during the uh, during the review? Did, like after getting a look at the replay, was there concern that that would be overturned? And, and can you both speak to just what Sam Bennett's impact has already been on this series? Obviously, controversial goal, controversial hit last game, and clearly uh, the Bruins have the emotions high with him. Yeah, I mean we, I mean Ben is huge for us. You know he's. He's been one of the, the leaders in this team for, for the last years and, and he's he's doing everything he can, shift after shift and just he's he's hard to play against. He's he's great to have on your team, uh, instead of the other team. So it's huge to have him back and uh, the impact he's he's helping us is it's been huge and, and obviously it was it was tough to see uh, when he wasn't playing but we're happy to have him back. Yeah, he's a pretty much like identity player for us. He leads the way, he leads by example, and everyone follows. He always plays hard. That's the best part of him.
Sasha, in the third period, you guys only let up two shots on goal, eight shot attempts. You guys were obviously so good at closing out games in the regular season. What is it about this team that makes you guys so good in the situations where when you get a lead or it's late in the game, you just end up giving the opposition really not much to work with? Uh, I think the score of the game, obviously, we were down one, so we, we, we wanted to score one. We wanted to play the right way, though, so uh, we tried to spend as much time as possible in their zone and put a lot of pucks at the net. And uh, Offense is the best defense, obviously, so I think we did a good job with that. Sasha, to, uh, hey, to follow up on Mike's question, when you guys were watching that replay on the Coach's Challenge, I mean, you've been in a lot of situations like this. Did you think that goal was going to stand? Uh, yeah, we, we were confident. I know it's you, they reviewed it, so well, it, they counted it, so we we're good with that. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At all, and the play just gets finished more than anything else, and that's in the situation book, and it's in the real book. So, the only way that I, I was particularly concerned is is like some of your foreheads, right now. There's the people in the media doing that to me, like you cannot believe it. I caught you with the full forehead. That's where it came from. You were. What's that? Your interpretation is interesting because, I mean, it, 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 according to what Swayman says in their locker room, he was well, hey, for well, let's, his let's leave. Go with him. We're good. We're in Boston. Stay with the Bruins, brother. I'm with you. I'm from Brooklyn, man. I ain't from Boston. <laughs> uh, but, Paul, can. Uh, so we know. But uh, could you also speak to just Bennett's impact on the series? I mean, you know, obviously emotions were high. He played a heck of a game, kept it composed tonight, and, uh, and yeah, obviously he's I become think a... There's been lots of energy with this, lots of coverage. And I think you've got lost your minds on it, which is fine. You have that, you have that right. We've been a very disciplined, very composed team. We have. Fortunately, it's been a good way. It's gone unnoticed. We're all right with that. Eric, uh, Coach, two players, uh, Lundy, to be able to break it open, especially mm -hmm. after the way he's been playing for him to get you guys that first goal. Yeah. And then we talked about earlier with Bob just being able to mental fortitude when, again, only 18 shots and only two in the third, yeah. just so him would, doing it again. What was similar, you know, when we talk about history being important to your team, we were down 2 nothing to Toronto in game two, and Lundell scored. I believe it was that line, but I'm pretty sure it was Lundy scores. It might have been his first of the playoffs. He's been exceptionally good for us. Um, and that kind of that kind of fired the belief, right? Like it wasn't going for us around the net, but we're playing pretty darn well. The coach hasn't lost his mind on the critical refereeing stuff. So it's just hockey at that point. We're not involved. So I kind of liked our game, but Lundell – Bennett came back, and what it did is it put the Lustron and Lundell and Rodriguez uh, group back together, and that was really good for us. And then Bob just doing what he did again. Well, he's had this kind of really unusual playoffs. What's his record now? He's 7-2, and two, and Sorry. he's got a sub-900. Because it's, it's – that's – you know how sometimes plus-minus doesn't tell you how a guy's playing? Sometimes the save percentage is just not accurate. So you won't like the second goal, he won't like the second goal, fine. But everything after the second period is world class. World class. Like, so we had two shots in the, in the third period given up. But there was also some really close ones, and I think he had a big, I think they missed one. I think he had a bigger impact on one to be good at that time. That's the key. Can you, can you tell us, what, what can you tell us about what Reinhardt? Oh, he just got split. He got hit with a puck and split straight through. Oh, okay. So he was bleeding a bucket on the way off. And, you know, the first, and the, the first time I came out, I'm all over my Dave DiNapoli, who's our athletic therapist. What the hell is going on? Why is this? Because we hit a bunch of power plays. And he just, the second time I barked at him, he just grabs my arm and says, listen, I've never seen one this bad. It's going to be a while. So it was kind of more of his tone. I just said, so then I just shut up. Kind of like we anger the media in the front. You just kind of. Do you think he'd be okay for next game? Or is it oh, yeah. Good? No, he's fine. Okay. He just he was split straight through. And, it, and, and and they were just – it was a puck, yeah. I thought he had lost teeth when he'd come off, but uh, he hadn't. It seemed like in, in the second – you I mean, they were doing a pretty decent job in their own zone for about a period and a half. Then it seemed like in the second you guys really started to gain more zone time. Is there anything to that? 
yes. As far as how they, how you flip the game? There would be a slightly different style. So in the first period, we got a little bit more up top, and we normally don't. And it's a really good thing for a while, and then it's not a good thing because now you're looking for that. You're you're into that kind of four high roll that you see very skilled teams do. I don't think that's, that we're not a skilled team, but our strength is not that game. There are other teams that are way better at it than we have. Like William Nylander, who you saw, he's probably the best in the league at the four high game. So then we kind of got it back down. I thought I thought they were better in, in the second period on some quick strike breaks, on some plays they made under sticks. I thought our sticks weren't as good tonight as they were last game. But then I thought we were pretty good in the third. I felt that. I don't mean to offend you when you tell that, but we don't always share the same opinion about what happens on the ice. And I am absolutely partisan, like 100%. Sometimes I feel that you guys are too, but clearly, like from Brooklyn, why would you be, right, over this? Um, but if we are so fortunate to win the next game, we're screwed in the Rangers series, right? Is that a fact? <laughs> if the Rangers beat, we don't want to see each other. At least then we'd be on the same footing then, right? Anyway, I, I'm, I'm playing with you. I, like, I believe that. And, and I also believe at the start with all of the things, I think you've missed the point on the injury, and I think you missed the hit that caused it. I think you missed all of it. That's how I feel about it. Because you need some more gasoline. All right, you know what? I'm done. See you guys. <laughs>